Hit the thumbs up if you like our video. And be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for all our adventures. The Habsburgs and the Württembergs had a profound impact on the Lords of Gundenfingen. They fought with Count Rudolf of Habsburg, the future king, and Count Ulrich of Württemberg at the Battle of Hausbergen to defeat Walter of Geraldsegg, the bishop, in 1262. In fact, you can check out that video right there. During the Interregnum, all three houses, all three families, fought to establish dominance in Swabia. And none were more prominent than the Lords of Gundelfingen, Habsburg, and Württemberg. When Rudolf of Habsburg became king, the first thing he did was to stab all of his friends in the back and declare that all of the land that they had accumulated in all those years before now belonged to the crown. After Owich died, his brother Eberhard became the Count of Württemberg. But he was only 11, so he had a, a regent, Hartmann, to look after him. And Hartmann was in cahoots with Rudolf of Habsburg. And he started giving away all the land and he was telling Eberhard that it was the thing to do. Well, Eberhard was not stupid. He figured it out, imprisoned Hartmann, and then began to plot his own schemes. Eberhard was very smart and cunning. And so he led Rudolf to believe that he was a loyal subject. But meanwhile, he was plotting, coming up with a plan, learning to ride his dragon and learning to fight so that at some point in the future, he would go and take back all of the things that were taken from him by Rudolf. Well, after Rudolf died, Adolf of Nassau became the king, and he was too busy dealing with other issues to worry about Swabia. So that's when Eberhard decided to attack. And the first thing he decided to do was to stay loyal to the friends that had stayed loyal to him, the Lords of Gundelfingen. Hohen Gundenfingen is thought to be the ancestral castle of the Gundenfingen noble family. Researchers believe that Swigger IV built this castle sometime in the early 13th century. Documents mention this castle in 1236, and these humpback cubanoids you see here on the keep, well that design is also on other structures and that helps date this castle. In fact, this construction is of very, very high quality for its time, so it shows that the gorge of Gundelfingen were beginning their rise in Swabia. Later in the 13th century, the Gundelfingens fell on hard times because the king, King Rudolf, he had sent out an edict that said all of the land that the Württembergs and Gundelfingens had acquired during the early 13th century was to be returned to the crown. And sometime after 1293, this castle was sold to the Habsburgs, who were the kings of Germany, for a price much, much less than it was worth. Look, we found these symbols here on this, on this outer cropping. We're gonna look around, see what other ones we can find. Over here too. Over here. Yeah, here's one here. It looks like T S. Hmm, that looks like a year. That looks like Roman numerals. So Everett discovered eggs inside here. We're gonna see if we can get some light in there to show them, and then we're gonna reach in and grab a sample. Can't really get a good view, but we're gonna reach in and grab a sample. Oh, maybe there we go. How about that? Can't really get a good view. Let's get a sample and then show them. Here, you can see them right there. You can see them. We're gonna go in there and see if we can get a sample of those eggs and take them back to the lab. Shortly after King Adolf had ascended the throne in 1292. Eberhard I, now in his 20s, and an accomplished dragon rider, along with his friend Swigger IX, also known as Swigger the Long, developed a plan to regain all of their properties and land that had been taken by the Habsburg King. That's my initials! There's another one! Ooh, we gotta jot that down in the notebook. That's very, very unique. So what we figured out 
is that this symbol represents south because if you look at my compass, we're heading south. But I'm not sure what this symbol means. That could mean that... And... <gasps> there's an S in the river. There's an S in the river. Eberhard I, upon the back of the enormous Black Mountain, and his sister, Ermengard, seated on her dragon, Duke the Cleva, flew low to stay under the fog and inside the concealment of the mountains. They split up near Durdenstenten, which is only a few kilometers in this direction, and with Eberhard heading here, and his sister, Ermengard, heading toward Berg Bischenhausen, just over the valley. Eberhard approached from the west, and he concealed his dragon in one of the two caves directly on the other side of this wall. Now we don't have our climbing equipment, so we can't get down there and take a closer look right now. Eberhard intended to parlay with the Castilian, and he approached the gate right over here. Eberhard told the Castilian of his, of his intentions, and even told him, I have my dragon below this castle. The Castilian, not believing in dragons, told Eberhard to go on his way and was gonna have no part of surrendering this castle. It we does. We like saw a dragon egg in here, cause look, there's the potholes, right? and fire, and then there's a big, big, like, hole inside the rock. Wow. Why would that be there? I don't know. Let's see if we can get a better look in there. So Eberhard did as he was bid and returned to the caves, but only to mount his dragon. Once they were in position, they leapt over the castle wall and landed hard right here in the lower courtyard. Once they'd landed, the Black Mountain spewed fire from his mouth, singeing the tower behind me, as the Castilian could only stand in awe. Once he had flamed the tower and the guards, the Black Mountain climbed up this interior wall to the top of the keep, grabbed the Castilian in his mouth, and flung him over the side, down to his death. With this castle now in sole possession of the Württembergs, he handed it over to Swigger the Long, and the Gundelfingens had reclaimed their land, titles, property, and specifically their ancestral home. Looks like we're gonna have to cut this quest short. We got a storm coming. That's it for Dragon Quest. Make sure to stay tuned. Thank you guys for having me along. It was really, it was a really good time. But make sure to subscribe, hit that juicy like button, and make sure to comment down below what place you liked better. Hi everybody.